Hi everyone, this is Dario from Palo Alto. Today we're going to talk about how to deploy ZTNA connector to ARM in Azure workload. Uh, the last video we explained how to deploy ZTNA connector with one ARM. Today we'll move forward to talk about the idea about ZTNA connector to ARM. Then after that to see the step by step how to deploy ZTNA connector in Azure workload. ZTNA to ARM that simple you can uh, deploy ztna connector in the workload uh, in azure or any public private cloud here with the two port as you can see here so the port they call uh, port uh, 2 will assign to the wan uh, uh, subnet then other port will assign to the local area network lan uh, subnet so all the traffic back and forth will go through the uh, ztna for two arm as you can see here without further ado let's jump into the lab and configure ztna connector with two arm all right to start from prismax as, as you can see make sure have the license for ztna connector that one from monitor subscription use then the ztna connector activated as you can see here as well as you need to go to the workflow, make sure you have Prisma Access uh, application and connector IP block. You can add it here, as you can see from here, from this little gear, you can add the application IP block and connector IP block. So I gonna use 164 for the application and 165 for any connector is in my system here. Perfect. So once it's done here, you need to save and push the configuration from here. Only this configuration need to push in the cloud because most of the configuration, you don't need to push anything for ZTNA connector. So I go to ZTNA connector. I create a group first. So in the group here, I will going to use, use the group one and I keep it default. I don't want to auto scale here. So create. Then in, inside this group, I go to connect and do the connector in the connector here I create a new connector the name uh, maybe I use arm 2 I gonna use uh, ZTNA 2 arm for uh, this deployment here so we'll put it in a group one again if you you wanted to use in private cloud or on-prem uh, data center you can download from customer support the ZTNA connector VM from here but for our case here for our lab we're gonna use uh, Microsoft Azure Marketplace to download the ZTNA connector. So now once it's done here, create. And after to create here, you need to go to create application target. Uh, I will do application target at the end. I wanted to make sure the connectivity is completed first. As you can see here, the tunnel is not up because I'm not configuring Azure anything yet. So from here, I need the key and secret here. This one needed to use it uh, inside the Azure deployment side. So let's go to the Azure and continue the configuration for ZTNA. All right, I'm in Azure here, uh, Microsoft. So I just have uh, wanted to show you here, I have a one resource group. In this resource group, I have two application, app 01 and app 02. These two application, uh, included DNS domain private zone. So the first application will be the FAQDN name will be uh, app01.ztna.local. Second application will be app02.ztna.local. Also, I have NAT and uh, with the NAT, they have a public IP. I have a NAT gateway as well. If I go a little bit up, this is the NAT gateway. I have one VNet. Uh, one virtual network inside this virtual network. I have two subnet. I'm gonna show you here So in the in this vnet, I have two subnet one subnet They call WAN, and the second subnet they call app you need to remember this too because we are gonna use one arm uh, Connected to the WAN and second arm connected to the LAN so simply you can go from here marketplace in a marketplace just right Prisma access ZTNA. So you're gonna see this ZTNA solution template when you click on it. And from here, you can go with two arm here. This is the option for two arm. 
So I say create here. And they ask me to put it in a resource group. If you, uh, if you go to your resource group app uh, uh, dash RG resource group, just now I show you, uh, the ZTNA connector will reject because they need empty resource group. I will show you how to fix that problem. The very important thing ne need to remember your resource group where. So my resource group in central US, the region. So this is very important. And as well, you need to remember the VNet name. So right now I will say, okay, I will do with the new resource group. And this resource group will be ZTNA connector to arm, the name. You can put any name, but this is my resource group. Now, make sure the same your resource group. So my resource group in central US, so I just pick the same. Now, when I say next, they ask me to create a new network. I'm going to change that one to my current and existing resource group, uh, VNet. So from here, just I write app. As you can see, this is my resource group. I just pick my VNet here. So my VNet here, when I pick, they give me two options. Remember, I deploy right now two ARM. So they ask me first, where is the ARM going to the internet, going to the WAN, going to the public side? So I will pick the WAN subnet. If you remember, I have two subnet in my VNet. And for LAN here, I will pick the LAN or app subnet. Okay. Now they ask me here, what's the name of this v, uh, ZTNA connector? I call it ZTNA, okay, whatever, any name. And the LAN interface, private IP address. So this is a very important uh, thing. As you can see, your application is 10, 10, 10. So you can give to this guy 10.10.10.10, .10 the IP address for the ZTNA connector slash 24. What is the default gateway 10.10.10.1 slash 24? This is one by default in Azure, as well as the DNS as well is a 10.10.10.1 slash 24 as well in Azure. Once you complete the information of the LAN uh, default gateway, as well as the DNS and the IP address of the connector, you need this two key. So I back to Prism access very quick. I need the license key first then paste it here. Then after that, I need the license secure key. I paste it here too. All right. Once it's done here, next. And after that, I just create here. Now, all right. This take like a few minutes to complete it. All right. The ZTNA connector is completed now. If I go to the resource, I can see here, this is my VM. And now I have two ARM, two interface. One interface going to the WAN and second interface going to the LAN, as you can see. All right, let's go to Prisma Access side and see the result. In the Prisma Access, you can see the error configuration error right now. And this is take a few minutes and after that change it to tunnel down, then after that tunnel up. So that means it's working now. They can change. So in that time, you can define the application target here. So I'm going to go to uh, ZTNA connector. I back to my resource group for the application here. I have application one and two, as you can see. If I go to the DNS domain private zone, I have these two applications and with a private IP. So I go to the first one. I copy the FEQDN name here. The second one should be the same, only change one to two. All right, how to add... Uh, application target or define application here in ZTNA Zero Trust Network Access in Prisma Access. There is a two way uh, you can add uh, uh, from here application target. You can add application target here manual, uh, as well as there is an option discover application target here. This application target need cloud identity engine. So you need to go for manage. Make sure you go to ng firewall. From here, you can go to Identity Services and the Cloud Identity Engine. You have to make sure you have a CIE, Cloud Identity Engine container, enabled in your tenants. Because from here, the Prisma Access with the Zero Trust Network Access connector can talk to CIE to pull up the application. So you can easily go from here 
then go to ZTNA connector here, go to application target, simply go to discover application target, all the application in CIE, which is a probably in your uh, service provider, for example, in Azure or in Okta, you can find it all your application here. So simply just press here to add the application here, this feature they call uh, discover application target easily. So I want to click here, put it the information, put it in which target, then after that create. It will add to your ZTNA connector tunnel. For now, we're going to use the application target the manual way. So I just go from here. I say, hey, this is application one and should be go to the group one, which is included my connector. Then I just put it there. FAQDN name, make sure there is not included anything extra. So just port 80. As you can see here, then after that, create. I go to create another uh, application, I call it application 2. Then also semi group FAQDN name will be 2 right now, the application 2, second application. Then also I keep with the port 80, the default one for HTTP. So now Create, enable. A few minutes, as you can see, the application is uh, up. Application one and two uh, should be as well the tunnel up. And you see they get a public IP from Prisma Access, get the location nearby, as well as the fabric IP uh, 165, as you can see here. Before to test, don't forget to put the policy inside the Prisma access mobile user to complete the uh, zero trust network access because the security policy is the fundamental for the zero trust network access concept. So from here you go to mobile user and you put it here, even the HIP HIP uh, as well as the device ID, everything you can configure it based on security policy as well as to add the security profile, everything in the security policy for these two private applications. Now, uh, let's go to computer and test. Uh, I have one VM connected to the mobile user, uh, Global Protect. As you can see, this is the uh, my portal, VPNC. So this is the computer here connected to VPN. If I go here just to check, I'm connected to VPN here, setting. And as you can see in the same vpnc.lab, perfect. So I go to the browser internet here and just write uh, 01.ztna.local enter. As you can see, the application is worked perfectly. If I go as well, copy, and I go to put it to uh, as well here to the application number two working as well. Uh, as expected. Now uh, I can do some uh, NS lookup as well uh, here CMD then after that NS lookup on the fabric or from Prism Access. So as you can see he get IP from the application block 164.35 for the application 2 and application 1 uh, get 34 also from the same uh, same IP block 164, which is being already configured in Prisma Access earlier. Remember, this is two arms, so all the traffic back and forth from the user and the server, application one, application two, will go through the zero trust network access connector in Prisma Access and here. So simple, if you wanted to monitoring the application here, you can go to monitoring. There is something they call data center here. In the data center here, you can easily go to see the ZTNA connector. So you can see this is the ZTNA connector here. I have a uh, group one <coughs> and connector. Then you can go to group one and you can see this is the connector. You can monitoring the connector uh, performance here as you can see, you can see how much the bandwidth is used, CPU and memory. And for the application itself, you can also go to uh, monitoring or monitor and go to the applications. Inside the application, we have another option they call ZTNA connector target. 
So from here, you can see each application, how much the bandwidth consuming. Like, for example, this application, you can go here and you see how much bandwidth for this application, as you can see, is just now connected. For application two as well, you can one click and go to the bandwidth and see how application two look like in terms of bandwidth. All right, just to wrap it up very quick here, this is the deployment step by step for ZTNA uh, two arm. I hope this was informative for you. Thank you for watching.